This is an A-level and IB psychology video outlining measures of dispersion, including range and standard deviation. So measures of dispersion are a type of descriptive statistic which involve quantitative analysis, and they tell us about the spread of scores across the data. And the two different measures that you need to know for A-level psychology and IB psychology are range and standard deviation. So range is simply the difference between the highest and the lowest values. The higher our score for our range, that the greater the spread of scores. The lower the range, the less spread that we see. The range is very much affected by anomalies because it is such a simple calculation, the highest score minus the lowest score, and there is no indication of how the scores relate to the mean. If we were going to calculate the aggression in males, we can see here from the data in the table that the highest score is 10 and the lowest score is 4. So to calculate the mean, it would be a simple solution of uh, 10 minus 4, which equals 6. And this would indicate to us that the scores in our data have quite a wide spread. Standard deviation, however, is the distance each score is from the mean. And what it does is calculates how spread out the scores are from the mean. And it has much greater accuracy because all scores are involved in the calculation and therefore it can be less affected by anomalies. Again, similar to range, the higher our standard deviation score, the greater the spread, and the lower the standard deviation, the less spread. This is the formula for standard deviation, and we're just going to break this down now. So in terms of standard deviation, x is representing the score. The x with the line above it represents the mean. Obviously, the little two floating there is squared. Sigma, or the big E, is our total. And then we have to divide those calculations by number of values minus 1, which is represented by n minus 1. And then we must not forget the square root of all of those things. So the first step in standard deviation is to calculate the mean, which is represented here. So we need to calculate the mean in order to be able to take it away from each individual value. So to calculate the mean, we add up all the scores and divide it by the number of scores. So 5 add 7 add 4 add 10 add 9 is 35. We divide that by the number of participants we have, which is 5, and that gives us the answer 7. So that allows us to now calculate what x minus the mean would be. So we need to subtract the mean from each score. So I put the mean in the table there. So 5 take away 7 is minus 2. 7 take away 7 is 0. 4 take away 7 is minus 3, and so on and so forth. The next step is to square the deviation. So the deviation, as you can see in the formula, it's circled there. The deviation simply means the score minus the mean. And we square them quite easily because these numbers are quite straightforward. So minus 2 squared would be 4, uh, minus 3 squared is 9, 3 squared is 9, and then 2 squared is 4. Then what we have to do is find the total of the squared deviations, which is represented by sigma in the formula. So we add them all up, add up all the squared deviations, and that gives us the answer of 26. So 4, add 0, add 9, add 9, add 4 is 26. The next thing that we need to do is divide the total of the squared deviations by the number of scores in the data set minus 1. So n minus 1 is obviously going to be 4. We then have to divide our squared deviations, the total of them, by 4. And our squared deviations was 26, divided by 4 is 6.5. We then need to find the square root of the variance, which is the overall um, part of the sum. So the square root 6.5 is 2.55. This indicates that most scores lie within 2.55 values away from the mean of 7, which means we have quite a large spread of scores. So this is it, step by step, standard deviation, calculate the mean, subtract the mean from each score, square the deviations, Find the total of the squared deviations, divide that by the number of scores in the data set minus 1, and then find the square root of the variance. That was a brief introduction to measures of dispersion, range and standard deviation for A-level and IB psychology.